The histories of the NYPD, New York City, and the Irish have always been closely associated. The Irish have played a significant role in policing in New York since the 19th century. This tradition continues today. There are a lot of departments in the United States that will do online stings, but there are only a, a very small percentage that will use a, a real decoy or a real undercover police officer to meet a pedophile, mostly because most departments just don't have people that look that young. So there's only a, a small group of departments that will go right through to the end and will meet a pedophile, go to his house or go to a motel to actually have the undercover get right up to the line where they're gonna have sex with the pedophile. Having worked with Vice as an undercover in the prostitution operation, Sonia is preparing to pose as a 13-year-old girl to meet the suspected pedophile. I've been NYPD for three years, and I've been an undercover for 10 months in the NYPD. I'm always looking over my shoulder to see if somebody recognizes me, or if I recognize a person. Where I work, there's people who's been in Vice for at least 10 years doing another couple work. So I guess you can move around, you can move from borough to borough to change your scene, change your face from one borough to the next, you know? It's very nerve wracking because you're in the street and anything can happen. Sonia is to meet the suspected pedophile that Jimmy has been tracking online. This is the first time that she has taken on such an operation team are having a tactical meeting. Today, Sonia is going to be the undercover. Uh, and we have uh, Sunshine the Wonder Dog is going to be uh, uh, the prop. The building that, that you're going to is a three-story building. There's multiple apartments in it, OK? Second or third floor you live on, you know, you know, wh whatever. As soon as you get in the building, all right? Have some keys. Do you have some keys? I have my house keys. OK. Um, what do you, you have mace? Your, your aunt, your aunt, uh's name, you can make that up. Your aunt's apartment number, you can make that up. Phone number, 718, you can make it up. What I know about the guy that I'm supposed to meet up is that he's single, has no kids. He likes 13-year-old girls. He likes to have sex with 13-year-old girls. I'm supposed to take him to a location which he believes is my aunt's house that I'm babysitting, her dog. And um, in that particular case, they, uh, they want me to have him say his screen name, um, what does he do for a living, um, see if he has condoms, see if, if he's uh, bringing a camera, because he stated he was going to bring a camera when we spoke to the internet. It's very nerve-wracking. I haven't done it, so I'm kind of nervous. You know, you always should be nervous. It keeps you on your feet. and. Um, Hopefully everything works out. We want to get into the lobby, all right? Um, Ralph and Leon, as soon as the meat goes down in the park, I want you to get into that building and wait on the stairwell, OK? Because when they come in, they're not going upstairs. We're going we're gonna to make the arrest right there. I, I expect some sort of a struggle. You know, he, he's apprehensive about doing this. He's so. aware that he's aware about the police. I've had conversations with them about everything. Um, 
Also, he should have a camera with him. Uh, should have a camera because he wants to take uh, some uh, sex pictures uh, when we get back there. And you can ask him about the camera. Did you bring the camera? Uh, did you bring what else I told you to bring? What else did I tell you to bring? I'm bringing condoms. Okay. All right. But don't, don't you don't say condoms. You let him say. Uh, just show the distress. Your distress. Okay. Your distress. Um, Sonia and, and the team above your hand, above your head. Above your head. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? A gun, knife, mace. What is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Say it out loud. Okay. Okay. When that happens, grab sunshine and hit the deck. Okay. okay? Just get out of there. Go low and get out as much as you can. Okay. All right, because it's totally off at that point. We're coming in, taking it, not going any further. Okay. All right? Um, if he wants to go back to get the camera or he wants to go back to the truck, go with him. Don't walk to the truck. Do not go to the truck. Okay? If he says, here, I'll drive you. Let's drive to the aunt's house. Say, oh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, I got something in my shoe. Mm -hmm. Take your shoe off. Very dramatic, very exaggerated. Okay? If he wants you to get into the truck, a gentleman would open the door for me. Okay, if he comes around, guys, shoe off, he comes around, boom. Okay, because obviously we can't let her get into the truck. The team make their way to the set or location where Sonia is to meet the suspected pedophile. They have become increasingly concerned about the individual since his recent online chats have become more and more sexually explicit. He's become a little bit more sure of himself. And the way that he contacted the second screen name that we were using, or the second uh, undercover, he, he was very sure of himself in that he showed naked pictures of himself. He was revealing himself. You know, he showed himself exposed and very much aroused. So he's a little bit proud of himself at this time. So for some reason, I think he's a little bit more relaxed. The set that we're using today is close enough to his house, yet nobody knows who he is. There's no direct route that'll take him back to his uh, neighborhood. I feel a lot stronger that this person is gonna show up today. And if we don't get him today, uh, there's there's a, a concern that he actually might be doing this to real children and that's that's our whole purpose of, of trying to get these guys before they actually uh, victimize a real child so uh, he's progressing very quickly and I'm just I'm concerned about this guy